Sony has a wild new PS5 controller concept. Yeah. So it's a not an actual product. It's a patent. It's a patent for an upcoming controller. Why don't you tell me why it is so innovative, Will? So this, uh, this controller specifically uh, is designed um, for the thumbstick to actually press down. And uh, for some reason, like people get fatigued, I, I guess, with like long thumbsticks, like with the dual sense right now. Mm. So what this pattern kind of solves is kind of less. Uh, so it, it allows you it allows you to adjust the height like of the more thumbstick. dexterity. Yeah. Well, there's a product called Control Freak, which kind of lets you do this, but you would have to put on a third party like snap on a little adapter. OK, I don't know if you recall. <laughs> no, it's it's uh yeah, there you go. I think yeah, they so. they spell it differently so you don't just search up control freak like what it means to be a control freak. Right. Anyway, these will let you pick your texture and your height and then you can have it concave or convex. Mm -hmm. And some people find it to be a lot more comfortable to actually be a little bit higher up. But what you're talking about is going a little bit lower down. Right. Yeah, it's going to depress. Well, yeah, not I, not the way that it depresses now where it's like a click, yeah, yeah, but it's actually, right. you know, more of like a force, like it's analog. So this will let you or not analog, se digital. select on the fly. Pressure, yes. W which height you like. So you could be getting fatigued at the higher height and then go lower, or or does it compress not, each time? It would be automatic. Uh, okay. So I guess when you're pressing like at the top, when you're kind of like rolling up, it's kind of like the same plane, the same level, if that makes any sense. Whereas, like, it's not going all the way up to the top. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Yeah, it's kind of, but are you, are you, are you, really it well. seems like you're talking about a shock almost. Like, does it have a spring in it? It does. Yeah. That's what I'm imagining so right it, now. So it's, it's, it, the whole it's thing. It's like pressure. Yeah. And the, and then the whole thing is going to respond uh, to the pressure being applied to it. So, so therefore, there's going to be a little bit less permanent resistance, which is maybe the reason that the thumb fatigues in the first place. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Uh, I mean, I would obviously, it's hard to say when you're just simply looking at a patent, but it is a controller innovation. I mean, they've been sort of the same and then all of a sudden they rumble and then, you know, with the latest version, they had the haptics on the mm -hmm. triggers. So it, you feel resistance and mm -hmm. I mean, maybe on the thumbstick, you could start to feel some of those things too, sort of an extra dimension. Yeah.